Okay, hello everyone, it's Salar and we are in part 24 of our tutorial, a tutorial to writing a real-time operating system. In previous part, I talked about pre-index and post-index memory access, conditional instructions and table branch. Okay, but in this part, I want to talk about multiple load and store instructions and one of most important topics in our tutorial, a stack data structure. In this part, I want to describe what is a stack data structure and what is a stack in ARM processor. Very good. But what is multiple load and store? With multiple load and store, you can, for example, load multiple work. Okay, multiple. Uh, sorry. Multiple work to your registers instead of one word. For example, with LDR instruction, you can load one word uh, from your memory to your register in ARM processor. But, for example, with LDMIA and LDMDB, you can load multiple data, okay? Multiple word in your registers. Or for example, with STMIA and STMDB, you can store multiple word to your memory, okay? LDMIA, load multiple, increase after. LDMDB, load multiple, decrease before. What's the difference between increase after and decrease before? I say you, okay? and store multiple increase after and store multiple decrease data just like load multiple okay so what is load multiple increase after and store multiple decrease after what's these instructions for example for load multiple and increase after you have one register that it's base address okay and some registers and these registers in this list in a curly bracket are your uh, destination registers. For example, LDMIA are zero as a base address and I want to load three word in register R1, R2 and R3 with this base address. What does your processor when you run this instruction First, load one word from this address, the address that's been saved in register R0, register on 1. And after first load, increase base address. Okay, increase base address and load another word in register R2 and so on. And load another word to register R3. And similar to load multiple, we have a store multiple, but in this time, a store from this registers, this source register to this uh, with this base address. For example, load a store from register R1 to this address, and after first store, increase your address. Okay, increase after first load or a store. Okay, here is. LDMIA, load multiple, increase after, and store multiple, uh, increase after. But, what's load multiple, decrease before? Okay, DB, decrease before. Another time, we have a base, uh, base address and some registers, destination uh, registers, to load some word in these registers, in this list. For example, load multiple and decrease before here is base address and here is uh, or destination registers register r1 r2 and r3 but what's difference before before first load increase decrease base address okay decrease before first store first load create this address and load now from this address to register R1 and so on. Another time decrease, another time decrease. Okay, here is difference between increase after and decrease before. Okay, but let's do see 
an example in Eclipse. <clears throat> okay, here I'm in debug mode and I'm in first line of my main block. What's my code? In this part, uh, in this code, uh, my base address in, is in register R0. And here is my base address in my SRAM. Okay, and I want to load register R1, R2, R3, R4 with these values. And I want to store these registers with this base address. Okay, here, for example, my instruction is stmia which are zero base and r1 r2 r3 2 r4 okay here is my instruction as you can see a store from r0 my base address uh, uh, from these registers to fit this base address okay let's to run my code As you can see, in register R0 is my base address. Register R1, R2, R3, and R4 have been loaded now. Now, I want to load these values R1 to R4 to this address. Let's just see the address in memory. Probably, okay. I want to load these values to this 4 word in my memory let's do one a store instruction a store multiple and increase after as you can see in my memory i have in regi in this address plus four plus four and plus four first write one 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 to this address increase address and load other registers okay but as you can see uh, my base address does not change, okay? And this instruction will not change your base address and uh, let's do change my base address. Now, my base address is here, okay? Is this address, okay? Now, I want to run this instruction, load multiple and decrease before, first decrease this address and load this value from memory to register R5 and after that this value to register R6 and so on to register R8 let's run this instruction okay as you can see in register R5 I have this value R6 R7 and R8 okay here is store multiple and load multiple with this instruction you can store and load multiple words store to memory and load from your memory okay let's go back to slides okay but as you can see for my register list in store multiple and load multiple I can have my register with comma separated form okay for example register R5 R6 R7 and R1 and my spatial registers there is no important that you uh, you don't need to have an order to write your register okay for example register R1 is after register R7 and R6 okay you don't need any order in this list and you can use your a special register in this list for example LR SP and PC okay in this list you can write your register lists in a range okay with hyphen for example R2 to R9 it's just like R2 R3 R4 and to R9 okay you can have a range with hyphen okay and you can have combination of range and comma separated form in your register list okay it's structure of register list in a curly bracket in a curly bracket 
Okay. But stack topic most important. I repeat, one of most important, most important topic in our tutorial because a stack data structure in your processor and in your memory is so important to developing a real-time operating system and other operating systems okay because your operating system use a stack a lot okay so stack data structure is a one of data structure in computer science and is so important for us to write a very good system program like operating system it's not a complicated topic but it's so important and it's so important to know what's a stack and how your processor save your data in a stack memory and load from stack memory okay but i have some information about a stack in this slide for example a stack is a part of your ram okay for example it's ram or sdram okay your volatile memories okay a stack is a volatile memory and it's not a physical memory for example you don't have a stack memory in your chip a stack is a part of uh, your sram or sdram or other uh, temporary memories okay you can put your stack in sram sdram or other volatile memories and after that the stack access method is lethal last in first so i say what's lethal next slides and the stack in arm is full descending another time i will say what is full descending in this part okay but the stack is for saving local variables argument of your function return value of your function process state in your operating system and uh, as you can see here is so important but i will talk about this information these informations in future parts okay in this part i will talk about this information but i will talk about about local variable arguments so return value and process states uh, in pre in uh, future parts okay as i said the stack is a part of your ram your volatile memory sram stram and is not a physical memory for example assume that here is my sram in my microcontroller for example in my microcontroller first byte of my sram is in this address and last byte of my sram is this address uh, as i said for i for example for f f f f okay here is last byte of my uh sram in my chip okay in my microcontroller is an example but you can put your stack in your memory where you want okay for example you can put your stack here you can put your stack in the upper address of your memory or you, you can put your stack in middle of your sram okay but it's uh, here is main stack okay this stack known as main stack uh, in future parts i will talk about process stack okay process stack is another stack that it's uh, dedicated for each process in your operating system but for your processor and for your uh, code you have a one main stack memory main stack and your main stack is a continuous part okay you can't split uh, your stack for example in some part for example in two part or three part okay your stack should be a continuous part in your memory okay and each of your stack has a start address and end address a start of a stack and end of a stack and this address these addresses should be eight byte align double word align okay and as you can see the start of your stack is in upper address and end of your stack is in lower address and your stack will grow from upper address to lower address okay in arm processor and arm architecture okay 
there is an important thing, thing in stack and it's a stack pointer and in arm arm processor your register r3 in your register bind is a stack pointer what's a stack pointer the address of the last word that's been written in your stack okay for example assume that here is your stack okay stack is a word align memory and assume that you write some information in these words of your stack now your stack pointer is address of this word in your memory okay last word that's been written in your stack okay here your stack pointer is this address and your stack pointer is a four byte aligned address and for example you can't write a half word or byte in your stack you can write a word in your stack okay and uh, here is your stack pointer and uh, if you for example write another information in your stack now here is your stack pointer okay and if you for example delete this two word from your stack now this address is your stack pointer last word in your stack okay but uh, how can we set the initial value of stack pointer r13 in uh, cortex m processor okay it's for cortex m processor okay first you need to set the boundary of your stack in linker script a stack top and a stack limit a stack top is a start of your a stack and a stack limit is the end of your stack okay first you need to set the boundary of your stack in your memory for example assume that here is sram okay first you need to set the value of stack top and stack limit in link in your linker script let's to see that uh, open eclipse workspace my project and my linker script okay here is my linker script scroll down to the end of your linker script and as you can see i can set the boundary of my stack in my linker script but what's this information in my linker script let's do say you what's that first for your stack limit okay for your stack limit stack limit is in a lower address lower address and here is upper address okay first to see what's a stack limit in my memory as you can see your stack limit is a, a 8 byte align address here set the 8 byte align address i will talk about you what's for example uh, point in linker script or what uh, or what's align 8 align 8 set this address as an 8 uh, byte align okay but here is my stack limit what's my stack limit here is your origin of your ram okay plus length of your ram minus stack size what is origin length and stack size let's just screw up to here uh, okay here is my ram base here is origin of my ram okay here is origin here is uh, size of my ram okay and here is size of my stack okay here is size of my stack here is origin of my ram and here is length of my ram As you can see, your stack limit is addition of these three values. Origin plus length minus stack size. For example, here, my stack limit is equal to origin of my RAM plus length of my RAM. 0x uh, 
five zero 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 minus my stack size zero x okay here is my stack limits in my memory okay and what's my stack top stack top okay startup my stack is in upper address okay here is a stack limit plus a stack size okay and it's a eight byte align value so stack limit plus stack size is my stack top okay so here the stack limit plus stack size equal to this value plus stack size here is 0x 5 0 0 0 0 okay here is my stack top 0x okay and my stack limit is here okay in this way you can set your uh, the boundary of your stack in your linker script file but after that let's remove, remove this information but after that you should put the initial value of your stack pointer your stack top okay in the first word of your flash first word in my flash first address of in my flash in my microcontroller is this address okay and i put set stack top in this address okay how can i put my stack top this value in the first word of my flash in my startup file as you can see in my startup file i have a <clears throat> vector table okay the vector table is in vector section that vector section and that vector section is first part in my uh, flash memory in my microcontroller as you can see in linker script file uh, first part of my text section in my flash memory is vectors okay so here is first part of my flash memory okay and here is vector table i will talk about that what's vector table in future parts but in this way you can put a word in first of your flash that line is just like that word uh, that uh, word okay that word directive with that line and stack top what's a stack top stack top is here stacked up is here underline underline underscore underscore and stacked up okay you can put the stacked up in first address of your flash memory okay and for example uh, you can put reset handler in second word of your flash memory what's reset handler first address of my reset handler address uh, reset handler code okay here is a reset handler is the address stacked up in first word and reset handler in second word okay in this way you can put your stacked up in first word of your flash memory okay and if you put a stacked up in the first word of your flash memory after reset your mm, processor and your cortex and microcontroller code automatically put the value from this address to stack pointer or r13 register automatically okay after reset your processor will put a word from this address to stack pointer and a word from this address to your program counter register okay it's and automatically action okay send automatically action from your cortex m processor let's to see this automatically action in eclipse 
okay in your debug go to your startup file and I have a useless instruction here move r0 to r0 okay first put this instruction here is a useless instruction and put the breakpoint in this line okay first line of your code after reset handler okay after that reset your uh, processor okay as you can see i'm in line first line of my code let's to see the value of stack pointer and this here is a stack pointer my stack top and let's to see my stack pointer in memory in first address of my memory okay here is first address of my flash break okay no as you can see uh, my stack pointer is here in this four bytes okay here is my stack pointer and here is my reset handler address okay here is uh, yeah. This four byte is my reset handler address. Your processor will automatically put your stack pointer in this address and your reset handler in this address from your vector table. Okay? From your vector table. Okay. In this way, you can set the boundary of your stack with linker script. We see some information in linker script, but don't worry. I will teach what's linker scripts completely in future parts, okay? And you can put the initial value of your stack memory in stack pointer, okay? The first word of your flash memory. Uh, okay, but how you can write a value push push means write a word write a four byte data in your stack uh, with arm instructions okay you can't write for example two byte or byte value in your stack okay you should write um, at least four byte in your stack okay so with push instruction you can write a word in your stack okay in first word in your stack but uh, what does push instruction and what's push instruction in push instruction you should write push and in a curly bracket a register here is a register that you want to write in your stack okay first your processor decrease stack pointer and after that write this register to stack pointer to decrease the stack pointer address okay let's see that in eclipse okay here is my code and i want to load the value of register r0 to my stack with push okay and load another value to register r0 and another time push to my stack i want to load these two words in my stack memory but as you can see the value of my stack pointer is my stack top okay but let's do one that the value of register r0 is here and uh, value of your stack pointer is your stack top okay when you run the push instruction your processor first decrease this value by 4 and write uh, register r0 in your stack memory let's to see the memory see my stack in memory for example 0 x2 5 0 is here my stack top sorry minus for example 0 x 10 okay okay as you can see here is my stack top and i want to write a value in my stack okay 
I will write the value in this highlighted word because my stack top minus 4 is this address. After that, write register R0 to this address. Let's do one push instruction. Okay, as you can see, the value of my stack, uh, first word of my stack is 5555555. The value of register are 0. Okay, and my stack pointer this time here is FC. Okay, FC, the value of last word that's been saved in my stack memory. If you another time, want to write this value of register r0 to stack first your processor decrease this address your stack pointer and write your value in this highlighted address another time i have the value of my register in this address and value of my stack pointer is f8 the value of last word that's been that's been written in my stack memory okay in this way i can push or write some uh, work in my stack memory as you can see my stack will grow from upper address to lower address okay so with push First, decrease the value of stack pointer and after that, write your information to your stack. But what is pop from stack? Here is read a value, read a four byte word like push from a stack with pop instruction and a destination register. But in this time, first, your processor will load a value from your stack to your register read a value after that increase your stack pointer by four okay let's see that in eclipse okay another time i want i have a code first push these words in my stack memory with push instruction after that pop these values to register r1 and r2 Okay, let's do one. My. Okay, now I have pushed these two words in my stack. And my stack pointer is address of last word in my stack. Okay, now I want to pop from this address, address of stack pointer, to register R1. This value to register R1. Okay. As you can see, if you run your pop instruction, your processor will load this value from this address to register R1. And after that, increase your stack pointer by 4. Now, my stack pointer is FC. Okay. Address of next word in my memory okay if you another time run your pop instruction now you have the value of your stack pointer in register r2 okay and another time your stack pointer is top of your stack okay it's top of your stack as you can see with this instruction, first pop instruction, last word uh, that's been saved in your stack uh, was popped in your register, okay? Last word of your stack. Okay, let's do back to our uh, slides. Okay, as I said in first a slide up stack in arm uh, architecture a stack is a full descending structure because writing to a stack is from upper address to lower address from upper address to lower address okay so as the this name implies 
stack in ARM architecture is full descending from upper address to lower address. And stack is a lethal data structure, okay? It's a lethal structure, last in, first out. Because when you pop a word from your stack, your processor will have, you will have topmost word of your stack, okay? For example, if you have this two value in your stack and here is your stack pointer, if you run pop instruction, your processor will load this word, okay? Topmost word of your stack in your memory, in your register, okay? So, last in, first out, okay? Stack is a last in, first out. And uh, we have, for example, some other data structures in computer science, for example, Q data structure, okay? Q is a data structure and Q is a FIFO data structure, first in, first out, okay? But the stack is a last in, first out data structure because last word that's been saved in your uh, stack will be popped in your register by your processor, okay? will have topmost word of your stack when you run pop uh, instruction and you can have you can push more than one register with push instruction load like uh, load multiple and store multiple okay for example uh, you can write for example push r0 R1 and R5. If you run this instruction, your processor first decrease your stack pointer by 4 and after that push this uh, register to your stack. Another time decrease, another time decrease a stack pointer and push R1, another time decrease a stack pointer and push R5. Okay, you can push multiple register. Uh, to your memory okay to your stack and this code is literally like this code stmdd from this address address of your stack pointer to register r0 r1 r5 okay and decrease before here is decrease before first decrease the stack pointer and after that write this value to register uh, to your stack okay and because stmdd the load multiple and store multiple does not change the value of base address after pushing this register to your stack you should decrease the stack pointer by 12 minus 4 minus 4 minus 4 12 okay you should do this you should set this address after pushing data in your stack with uh, by yourself okay so this instruction is lit literally just like these instructions okay and another time for pop instruction you can pop more than one uh, word from your stack to your memory okay just like push okay but in this time the instruction is load multiple increase after because with pop you will increase after writing okay increase a stack pointer after writing but with push first you decrease the stack pointer after that write your value to the stack okay decrease before and increase after for pop okay but it's load multiple and store multiple instruction you should change the base address by yourself okay and for example you can have a list of register in push and pop okay or combination of uh, sorry list range you can have a range in your register list with pop and push instruction just like store and load multiple data or combination of range and comma separated registers okay here was an introduction about load multiple and store multiple and most one of most important topic in our tutorial a stack okay 
here was a stack as i said stack is a part of your physical memory and you can set the part of your stack with linker script file is a lethal last in first out data structure in arm is a full descending from upper address to lower address from higher address to lower address okay and you can use a stack to save your local variable variables arguments return value and process states in operating systems okay but i will talk about this informations in future part okay i will talk about to this information in future parts okay very good and enough for today thank you very much to see me and see you in next part thank you very much